In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use voice typing on a Chromebook. So if you want to use voice typing on your Chromebook, where you can just speak to your Chromebook and it will type out what you say as typed words on the screen, in this video, Timmy's going to show you two different ways that you can do that. The first way Timmy's going to show you is the way that's built into Chrome OS. And the built-in way is really quite convenient because you can use it anywhere on your Chromebook where you might be typing something. So you could be, you could use voice typing to type in a text box or in an email or in a Google Doc or really anywhere else that you could possibly put your cursor and type something. You'll be able to use voice typing for it with the built-in Chrome OS feature. And after that, Timmy's also going to show you how you can use the voice typing feature in Google Docs. So the Google Docs feature can only be used inside Google Docs. So it's a bit less convenient and it's really only going to be useful for typing out a document in Google Docs. But if that's what you wanted to do with voice typing, Timmy actually finds the Google Docs version is a bit more good. It's sort of a bit better at understanding what you say, and it's a bit better at doing things like knowing to put a full stop at the end of your sentence, rather than just typing the words full stop, which the other built-in Chrome OS one often does. So today, Timmy's gonna show you how to do both of those. And first, Timmy will be showing you the built-in Chrome OS method. So when you're on your Chromebook, to do that, you'll need to go into the settings and enable it first. So to do that, You'll just need to come down and click on this menu down here and then come up and click on the settings icon here. And now you're in the settings of your Chromebook and you'll need to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So scroll down to the bottom here and then you'll need to click on advanced and you'll actually need to scroll down to the bottom again now that we're in advanced and down here you'll see accessibility. And you'll just need to click on Manage Accessibility Features. And now in here, you'll need to scroll down a bit more until you find Keyboard and Text Input here. And you'll need to enable this option that says Enable Dictation and in brackets Speak to Type. So you'll just need to click on that switch here to turn that on. And it will ask you if you're okay with it sending your voice to Google to allow it to work and you can just click on continue and that'll all work fine. And now it's ready. So now you'll see you've got this little microphone icon in the bottom right hand corner here. And you can actually close the settings window. You don't need that anymore. So now you will just need to click on that microphone icon whenever you want to type something. So if you maybe open up Google Chrome and you're going to type into a Google search. So you've put your cursor in the search box. Then you just need to click on this button here and say you want say what you want to search. Tech time with Timmy. And after you've said what you wanted to type, you will need to come back down here and click on the microphone icon again to stop it because as you can see, it was still typing everything Timmy said after that. But now you've got what you said in the Google search box typed out for you and now you can search for it. Or maybe if you're typing an email in Gmail and you didn't want to type it all, you just want to speak, you could say all that here. Hello, comma, enter. This is a test of the voice typing, full stop. And then you just need to click on the microphone again. And it's done. So you'll see it wasn't perfect at putting the comma and the enter. Google Docs is a bit better at that but this didn't do that perfectly. So after you've finished your voice typing, you will probably have to go back and make a little, a few little adjustments like that if you're typing something long, but it can make it a lot quicker and easier to type out the bulk of what you're wanting to say. And this method will actually also work in Google Docs if you want to use it in Google Docs, because it'll work anywhere on your Chromebook. So if you're in a Google Doc, it's the same thing. You can just click here and start speaking to type and it will type whatever you're saying and that's it. You can, when, once you're happy with what you've typed, what you've said, you can just click on the microphone again and it will stop. So that's really cool and that's the built-in Chrome OS version, but as you would have seen, it doesn't really work quite as well when you're typing out long sentences and you're adding punctuation and things, but the Google Docs version will be better at that. 
So if you're wanting to type out a document with your voice, you might want to go with the Google Docs version. So to do use the Google Docs version, when you're in Google Docs, you just need to come up to tools up in this menu here, and then come down and click on voice typing here. And now it'll say click to speak here. So you just need to click here and it will ask if it's allowed to use your Chromebook's microphone and you'll obviously need to allow it for that to work. So you just need to click allow. And now it will start to type out anything you say. And as you can see, it's working quite a bit better than the built-in Chrome OS version was. It's pretty much getting every word correct, full stop. And it even put a full stop there, which the Chrome OS one doesn't always do. Full stop, enter. So that's really quite good, comma. And then when you want to finish typing, so it will no longer listen to what you're saying, you just need to click on this microphone icon again and it will stop. So now it's stopped. And obviously it still won't be completely perfect. You'll still need to go through and make a few little edits, but it does do really well at getting out the bulk of what you wanted to say. And it does a bit of a better job than the built-in Chrome OS one does. So if you're going to be using your voice to type out a long document in Google Docs, to me would very much recommend the Google Docs version. But if you want the voice typing as more of a handy thing to quickly type out an email or type a search without touching the keyboard and things like that, then the built-in Chrome OS feature can be really good too. So that's really cool. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and to me, I'll see you in the next video.